Hi everyone, welcome to Whitney's Watch List. Today I'm reviewing Where'd You Go, Bernadette? So I have to admit, I am a huge Kate Blanchett fan. Well, maybe I'm not, not like, not like her number one fan, like I couldn't tell you like all her credits, but like obviously I love her acting. Honestly, whenever I see a movie starring Kate Blanchett, I am almost never disappointed. So I had to see this this month. Okay, so if you don't know what the film is about, it's about this woman named Bernadette Fox, who was once a super famous genius architect. And after this one project, her life kind of just goes downhill. And her life is just a mess. You could see it in just so many ways in the film. And she has this really great relationship with her daughter, which is like amazing. And she has this like super smart husband. Her life should be perfect, but it's not. It is based on a book. I've never read it. Um, I'm so terrible about that. I usually never read books before I see a film. I usually don't know about the book until it's a film. Okay, so the film is starring a couple big names. So I have to read them because I don't want to forget everybody. So Kate Blanchett, obviously, Judy Greer, Kristen Wiig, Billy Crudup, and uh, Lawrence Fishburne has like a little cameo. And then the daughter is played by Emma Nelson, who was just so amazing. She was just so sweet. She was just so perfect for this role. Kristen Wiig's character, she plays such a great straight man a straight man in the sense like where she's not actually trying to be funny but she's funny because she's just like the psychotic like homemaker housewife judy greer it was amazing to not see her as a best friend character because she's always cast as best friend but in a more like authoritative role as a doctor it was really cool to see her in that role this was directed by richard linklater who also produced directed and wrote boyhood which was nominated a couple years back at the oscars Okay, so in essence, right, this movie is really about a woman whose life kind of kicks her ass a little bit. And it is hard to get yourself back up. And this was really Bernadette's character. She was spent and it took her husband years to not notice, but to actually do something about it. And I think it's so easy for women to just try to convince everyone they love around them that they're okay because that's what women do. We don't want anyone else to feel like they're less important. We feel like we can handle our shit, like we'll figure it out, whatever. And then we don't. So basically Bernadette goes on this journey and she rediscovers her purpose and rediscovers herself after really turning that part off of her for a really long time because she had to deal with other things that were more important years ago. And she kind of, had to take a long, 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 long journey to get back to herself. I mean, there was a lot of symbolism and attention around just her being like kind of this like wacky artist and things that would have been perceived as like crazy as fuck to other people were like totally normal to her and actually not crazy, but to other people it just looks crazy. I would like to add that I think that Kate Blanchett playing Bernadette Fox reminds me of her character in Blue Jasmine, where she's kind of like a little psychotic a little bit and her life kind of goes to shit and she's just trying to get it together. It reminds me a lot about this character, but like less luxe because Jasmine's character was very like grandiose and luxurious. Whereas Bernadette's character really has it all seemingly, but she just really needs to get her life together. And it takes like a huge like smack in the face for her to realize just how badly she needs to get her life together. I really enjoy the film. I think the people who will enjoy this film most are like housewives, stay at home moms and artists specifically, because I think those are the people who are gonna identify with this film and really understand kind of some of the things that she's going through. Okay, so Whitney's watch list rating is, you can wait. I know I just said all these great things about this movie. I know, I know, I know, I know. But because I love y'all and because I look out for y'all, I don't think this is gonna be a movie where you leave the theater feeling like, wow, that was really worth my money. That was amazing. This is definitely a movie that I would like thoroughly enjoy in the comforts of my comforter in my bed on HBO. I think the people that will appreciate it are the artists and the moms. If you are in either of those two categories, go see it. If you're not, wait. Hey guys, if you really enjoyed this review, then please hit that subscribe and follow button and or like button. And I will be keeping you up to date on what's coming out and giving you my Whitney's Watchlist opinion. So stay tuned for more.